Do you like pandas? Do you like kings? Well, join me in this video to meet my panda king isopods. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodopods. I am David and today I'm going to be unboxing my new Panda King isopods. They're Cubari species, which means they're similar to rubber duckies. I think they're very cute, and when I saw some pop up, I just had to get them. So what I'm going to do in this video is unbox them, show you them, and talk a little bit about them, and then I'm going to set up their enclosure. Now, it's kind of a temporary enclosure, although they're quite small, so they may be in there for a while, but I thought it might be cool to give them a nice theme, and I'm hoping you're, you guys are going to enjoy this theme as much as I do. So I don't know if you're as keen as I am, but I'm going to get straight into this. So I'm going to unbox this right now and then we'll get that enclosure set up for them. Let's get into our little package here. One handed is not the easiest to do. And here are our little friends. These are Panda King isopods. Absolutely adorable. Same family as the rubber ducky, which is so popular, but these guys are somewhat more cheaper. Um, as usual from bugs in the house, nicely packed and arrive very quickly. So what I'm going to do, instead of just usual unboxing video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up their temporary enclosure and we'll see how they settle in. First things first, substrate, high quality millipede substrate. We're going to make a bit of a mess here, but we want plenty of it in here. Even though it's only a temporary enclosure, I want them to be happy. I'm going to try and clean it a little bit as well. Just want it quite deep, so a little bit more than that. I think that'll probably be enough. So let's I managed to do that with minimum mess, so that's great. Let's put this away to one side. So moisten the substrate now. I'm just going to add a few spring tails to the enclosure because it's always good to have them in there. We use the same sort of substrate. So a couple of spoonfuls of spring tails, and they can help the enclosure stay nice and clean for the isopods. We have our substrate in, we have our spring tails in, so let's get some furnishings in there for these guys. So first of all, a bit of cork bark for them to hide in or crawl on top of and enjoy. Because they're panda kings, I felt they deserved to have some actual pandas in there. So I've got a little couple of pandas. So we're going to put a panda eating some bamboo in a corner. Make sure it's not going to fall over or hurt them. We're going to have another panda in the other corner. The reason I'm leaving it on both of these corners is because the opposite end is going to have their hydration station. I don't want anything going wrong there. And then we're going to have a little wooden path, natural wood. So this will obviously degrade and they can actually eat it as well. I'm not going to put too many in there because obviously I, they like to borrow and I don't want to ruin that fun for them. So we've got our basic setup in here now. I want to put some more furnishings for them. We're going to have a little feeding bowl for them because all these isopods love their fish food. So we're going to have that. I'm going to also put a couple of bits of cuttlefish in there because they all like their calcium and it's very good for them. And then we're going to put our last final touches in it before the isopods come in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of fish food into the bowl so they get a head start. I'm using the pellets because they're slightly less appealing so we won't eat them as quickly. And we've got little bits of bamboo, little plastic bits of bamboo, which we're gonna pop in as for extra furnishings and decorations for them. Now don't worry, you may not see it in this video, but there will be loads of leaf litter for them as well. I just think it looks prettier when I'm doing these uh, filming videos without it. Uh, I always make sure they always have plenty of leaf litter because I know how much they love it and it's obviously a big food source for them. So we're going to pop the little panda kings in their enclosure now. Sophie's helping out with this because I feel more confident filming and Sophie's a lot gentler than I am. So let's get these little friends in their new home. We're using the moss they came with this time because it's a lot Oops. damper and they're going to be a lot more, more comfortable with it and I might replace it in the future if necessary. There's one rolled up, one just um, popped inside there. We have made the um, soil damp as well because we're aware this species kind of likes it a bit moister than most. Should make sure there's no stragglers. I see yeah, a couple no, of stragglers already. There. They're waiting just like last the time. The whole lot's going in, don't you worry. <laughs> Hello little, look at this cute little one here. He's like, hey, funny. <laughs> there's loads of them. 
It's a shame we haven't got a spoon to help like gently scoop them in. So all the panda kings are now in their panda enclosure. It's pretty much done apart from the leaf litter. As I said, I will be adding leaf litter to this to make it a bit more hospitable to them. But for now, I think this looks very pretty. It's going to be really nice observing them in here, feeding at the front. That's why we always put the feeding dish at the front so they'll come and we can see them. And hopefully they'll feel very comfortable and happy in here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. It's quite compact, it's quite small, but it's got everything they need in there. I've added some leaf litter, as you probably can see now, because you can't really see much of the floor anymore, because honestly, they need it, and it makes them feel much more comfortable. I'm going to keep an eye on the moisture gradient, and I will do a video on how to look after the various isopods I have, because I've learned a lot by talking to people and also through watching videos, so hopefully I can help you if you're new to the hobby, because I feel that isopods are probably one of the best invert pets you can get because they're so low maintenance there's so much you can do with them and they come in such a wide variety of different flavors almost but anyway in the meantime hope you enjoyed this video any comments or questions I'd love to hear from you down below but take care and have a really great day